What's going on, everybody? For the people who don't know me, my name is GQ Tretch, and um, just a random husband, father. Just post random videos of me and my family on Instagram and TikTok. I go through my DMs. A lot of people be writing me on Instagram. I'll check my DMs, and I just go through the best. Basically, if I see the same thing over and over, I usually make a video like that. My problem with credit cards was that I felt like we got them at a young age. So I was paying credit cards and card notes through my whole 20s. And I'm saying consistent. Best Buy, I've been paying them since I was 19 years old. And I finally just paid them off. Finally just paid them off. So the problem with that with credit cards was with me and my wife was that I felt like it was like suffocating us. And that's how I felt. I felt like, I don't know, I can't speak for her. But for me, I know, I know it was stressing her out too. But for me, I felt like it was suffocating me to the point that every time I get paid, they're taking all my check. It felt like the credit cards was making me get into arguments with my wife. And that's how I felt. I don't know about everybody else. My money wasn't right. That's a big factor, too. As a man, I feel like I wasn't the best husband to my wife. So I feel like I wasn't, like, I wasn't top tier to her. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm pretty sure to her I was. But just to me, I didn't feel right as a man that I couldn't do certain things for my wife. Like, it was tight. Like, it was real tight. And as a man, it just I was frustrated. Me and my wife bumping heads more. Just, it was, it was hard. Said it was hard, but we got through it. I'm pretty sure you can too if you're going through that situation. But I feel like a lot of people sleep on the whole credit card debt and just debt in general. If you got a lot of debt that you can't pay, student loans, credit cards, car notes, whatever is too much, that's going to be a problem in your relationship. That's how I look at it. Like I said, for the people who don't know me, I speak from my experiences. I'm not saying your experience is like this, but from my experience, me and my wife, I've been with my wife for 15 years. To me, that was a big problem in my relationship. But if you can avoid credit cards, if you can avoid high car notes, interest rate horrible, 20-some interest rate of credit cards or car notes, whatever you can avoid, you can avoid that. Please avoid it because right now, once we paid off everything, it's just been peaceful. Like, life got better. Everything got better. So... But as I, hey, hopefully if somebody going through this, you can get through it too. But there's going to be people in the comments going to say like, okay, you need a car note and credit cards help build your credit. True. That's true. But see, my situation was, I just said that when I was 19, I got a Best Buy credit card, or 20, one of them, me and my wife. Separately, she got 2000 I got 2000 Them cards been maxed. I'm talking about I bought everything I shouldn't have bought with that card. Cole's car. I had a Cole's car. Cole's car. For what? Why well, need a Cole's credit card for? Man. Hey, if you can avoid it, avoid it. That's all I'm saying. If you can avoid it, please avoid it. It's it's a headache. I promise you it's a headache. But um, yeah, that's I just couldn't. Nah. Can't do it. But hey. Everybody different. But check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because that just lead, that lead, it's going to lead to a bigger problem. That's how I look at it. And if it don't, for you, cool. That's good. Y'all can live through credit card debt and car note debt and can't afford your mortgage, whatever you want to do. Have no money in your account. Your kids looking at you for money and you don't have it. Cool. If you can live like that, cool. Credit cards and my relationship was a headache. And it's never going to happen again at the age I'm at now. Me and my wife, just, that's over. That chapter's over with. And I don't understand how certain people get back in that cycle of the rat race. People, certain people get back in that cycle and they just be saying, like, okay, I'm back. Or the credit card now. I'm smarter this time. I, I really know how to work the credit card now. You're not going to beat the bank, man. I'm telling you not. You can say all that you want, but. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on this. I know everybody got a different opinion on certain things, but I just feel like having credit, too much credit card, maxed out credit cards, like five to six maxed out credit cards, not good in your relationship. I just feel like it's not good in your relationship. It's going to cause problems, and that's how I looked at it. Like, it was just, it was a headache. And I don't know how people survive on that, but like I said, GQ Treasure, people who don't know me, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Engage with your boy on here, man. I'm going to be on here more posting a little search, uh, certain things. I'm going to be going over all my old videos for people who don't know me too. But, um, yeah, check me out on here. I'll let y'all.